everyone how are you so i just woke up hence why i don't exactly look really great i'm literally still in my pajamas i just um threw on a jumper just because it's really cold and it's only it's 6 45 in the morning i just woke up but today's an exciting day it's monday the 6th of december which is my dad's birthday but also we are going to london today for the she sports cup which is an all-female fifa event and it has content creators pro players pro footballers it's just an amazing all women fifa event which is absolutely awesome you know it's pushing the message of women in football and in fifa and in esports and i'm i was so honored that i was asked to go so we are just getting ready for that i need to go and have a shower first but i'm just making myself a coffee i can't function in the morning so if i don't have my coffee but this is the coffee that i use it's just the nescafe salted caramel coffee and this is the only milk i'll use with it right if i'm not using the oat barista blend for the coffee I ain't drinking it. Also, sorry, I know I keep looking dead. It's because I'm looking at myself. I should be looking dead at the camera. Oh my gosh, I look like a mess. <sighs> but I just woke up. It's okay. Normally, I shake this. But in the last few days, I've just started um, stirring it beforehand. Just so that when I shake it with my hand, it won't be um, that much effort. Let me put that down there. It's the thing you use with the Nutribullet, but I literally just... Um, use it for my coffee just because it's easy and it's something for me to shake it in just enough crush the box so we can put it in the recycling a fun fact i used to hate coffee as well like i never really used to like coffee but then i don't know why a few days ago i was like i'll just try the salted caramel one and it tastes all right so i think i don't like normal coffee like with no flavoring um but i don't like hot coffee still even if there's flavors on it I don't really like it to be honest. Let me get my mason jar. I have to drink my coffee in a mason jar. Like it it doesn't make that much of a difference, but I feel if I don't drink in a mason jar, it just it just helps me mentally for whatever reason. I had one before from Home Bargains, um, and then I dropped pepper like the pepper bottle on it and I smashed it, so I got another one from the range, which was more expensive than Home Bargains. This is gonna look weird, but I literally just all this foam on the top. I should be drinking this with some food so I don't get a tummy ache, but I don't really like eating in the mornings. I don't know why, unless there's food already there. Like if someone's really prepared food, then I'll eat. But in the morning, I just, I don't like eating. So yeah, we're just gonna go and finish off this coffee now. Coffee, what did I say like that? Coffee. I'm just gonna finish drinking this coffee now. <laughs> That's right when it's wrong I've stayed here too long But something brings me back to you I swear we belong I'm still hanging on But something brings me back to you 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 Skincare stuff. Hold on. So I've got my bag. 
with all my skincare stuff. We've just got to our hotel in London. I'm gonna do my skincare routine now because I didn't do it this morning when we left the house just because I didn't. So, like I said earlier at the start of the video, I'm here for the She Sports, she Sports Cup. It's an all-female FIFA event. My call time isn't till 2.20, it's 1.20 at the minute. So I'm just gonna get me skin ready because we're gonna do hair and makeup there. Not that anyone really cares, but I'm gonna do that first. Skincare. It's the Clean It Zero. It's facial cleansing balm. Then, I'm not gonna war um, wipe my face of the water because the next thing needs my face to be wet. So I'm gonna use this advanced gel cleanser alongside my Foreal facial cleanser. I always double cleanse, so I do a facial balm first and then I do a gel cleanse. I'm gonna use Hyaluronic Toner Plus. All my products are Korean, by the way. Pyeon Kang Yul. They're not regular cotton pads. They're like this shape and they're much thinner. I put a little bit on my cotton pad, or cotton pad, cotton pad, and just rub it into my face. Look at, that. Look at how hydrated my face looks now. Then tap the essence into my face. That's done. I use this Advanced Snail 96 Essence. That wasn't Essence, sorry, the last one was toner. Put a little bit onto my hand. Sometimes I put it onto the cotton pad, but if I'm tired. Well, not tired, but if I can't be bothered. I just put it on my hand. Rub it into my face, tap, tap, tap. My skin's quite red, like these, my cheeks always get like really, really red. Do that and then moisturizer. This is jelly moisturizer. So the consistency is not like a typical moisturizer. It's it's literally like jelly. Look how hydrated it looks. And then pack. Dry me hands, dry me hands. I have this um, sleeping mask as well. It's normally meant to be used at night time. But I think I'm just gonna use it now just because it is winter and my lips are kind of dry. You guys always comment on my TikToks telling me to put on like chapstick or lip balm. So I'll just put these on now since it's stronger than lip balm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a slab over there. Oops. Wait, that looks a little bit dry. Hey, dude. Take me hair tie out. Face dry? Yeah, it is. Take the clips out. Dun dun dun. dun. Oh, I'm gonna pick my camera. There we go. All done. My face is a little bit red, but that's gonna come down. So, yeah. Hold on, let me turn the camera. So, hold on, let me adjust it. This is what I think I'm gonna wear for the EA event, that's pro probably is what I'm gonna wear. The event's at 5 p.m. GMT tonight, so by the time you're watching this video, the event will already be done. But yeah, I am gonna be playing a game of FIFA. I know who I'm playing. Um, I'm playing Lisa, Lisa Manley, who's a pro player signed to Jesse Lingard's team, so I'm a little bit nervous, but it is what it is. We'll do our best, and yeah, we're gonna probably leave now to go to the studio. Right y'all, so I am. I was about to sit on this table but I don't think that's the best idea because I've gained quite a lot of weight recently. Um, don't want to potentially break the table. But we're in the hotel room, we're gonna leave in a- I'm squatting by the way, don't worry I'm not sitting. I'm squatting. But we're gonna leave in like 10 minutes to walk to the studio. But yeah, I'm nervous, I can't lie. <laughs> because I'm playing Lisa who's a pro player. And she's really good at FIFA, but at the end of the day, it's a good experience. I'm really honored to have been asked to come to this event. It's for it's for a great reason. All female FIFA event diversity is really important, especially for women in FIFA. You know, I'm one of the few 
content creators for FIFA. So this is a really great event to push women in not only in FIFA but in football as well, which you know FIFA in general needs more there needs to be more attention for women in FIFA. Loads of really good female FIFA content creators, but there isn't really that many events um catered towards females or not just catered towards but these events that are run for content creators etc you don't really see females get invited into them so this is a great opportunity i'm really honored to have been asked whether i lose or win doesn't matter it's it's amazing to be part of such an amazing event and i'm looking forward to it by the way sorry if i seem like a little bit um awkward vlogging like normally i'm really loud on stream and on my tiktoks and like my instagram reels but I haven't vlogged in a really long time. Like my last vlog was two, three months ago. So if I'm a little bit awkward <laughs> in this vlog, let me. Well, I'll get used to it a little bit more. Plus, I'm still trying to get over the fear of like vlogging in front of people, which, well, not getting over the fear. Like I don't mind doing it, but you know, sometimes you get worried that people are judging you. But I really shouldn't care because like I stream and I do Instagram and I do TikTok, etc. So. Yeah, I'm still trying to get over the... Well, I'm not trying to get over the fear. I'm trying to get better with it. Like before, when I was younger, I wouldn't even get in front of the camera. But now I'm better. So yeah, we're going to leave to go to the studio soon. I'm going to wear this. Hold on, let me move back. <laughs> That's what I'm going to wear. So yeah, I literally bought this like a few days ago because I thought I didn't really have any nice clothes in my closet because I don't really dress up and stuff. But... I think this looks all right. Peace. Say hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday. Woo! Guys, we are walking to the stadium now. It's really, well, not the stadium, the studio. It's really freaking cold and I'm only wearing two layers, but... <sighs> Can we talk about how beautiful South of Britain is like? I'm from Singapore. In Singapore, our football stadiums ain't like this. Like, this is literally the third corner and the first one's like, oh my gosh, like this is, this is beautiful, but yeah, we're walking to the studio now, it's really cold, I'm only wearing two layers, which was a mistake, but it is what it is. everybody it is now the next day yesterday's event was so amazing it was such a good opportunity i'm so honored to have been invited and met so many amazing amazing women what i'll do is that because i did play a match and the vod is on ea's twitch's channel ea twitch ea's twitches it's on ea's twitch channel i'll post another video on my main channel alia wg harvey because this will go up on my vlog channel my og channel ali harvey um but i'll post another video on my main channel basically like watching my game back with lisa and like the whole event as a whole so i'll insert i won't insert clips here i'll insert clips into another video but today is a new day we are going to go and tour stanford bridge you guys i'm not even joking when i was a little girl one of my dreams living in singapore was to be able to see a Premier League stadium because if you've seen our Singapore stadiums they, they aren't at the same level as Prem stadiums are so we're gonna go and view Stamford Bridge and have a tour around Stamford Bridge since I'm a Chelsea fan and it's gonna be amazing so we're gonna take you there and I'll vlog when we've reached the stadium and when we're at the stadium you guys also I'm literally being so quiet not quiet but like not as loud and shy i don't know why because when i stream i'm like super loud but like here i'm like hi everyone how are you i don't know why but i think it's because i haven't vlogged in so long so i'm just trying to get back into it so future vlogs will be more like you know yeah but this one's just a little bit shy because i'm trying to get back into vlogging but yeah 
it's probably doing you guys favors with me being like kind of shy because I'm not as loud and you don't have to have a headphone warning and protect your eardrums so hello everyone so we are just walking to Stamford Bridge right now look at the treble winners the women awesome well, this is the stadium, well, kind of the back of the stadium, the West Stand. Oh no, the Matthew Harding Stand, sorry. But we're just walking over there to go for the stadium tour and museum. This is so exciting. We do have to wear a mask though because of the recent restrictions put back for the UK. But I'm grateful to be here. I'm so grateful to be able to look at a Premier League stadium. So this is exciting. I'm not sure if I'm able to vlog once I'm inside. But I'll do what I can. You both got some best life, yeah. You both got some best life, yeah. It's something you and me, oh. You both got some best life, yeah. Jumping, flexing, I know. I just want you. Something you and me, oh. You both got some of the best life, yeah. You both got some of the best life, yeah. Work on some of the best life, yeah Something you and me, oh You work on some of the best life, yeah Jumping, flexing, I know I just want to know Something you and me, oh You both got some of the best life, yeah You both got some of the best life, yeah You both got some of the best life, yeah Something you and me, oh You both got some of the best life, yeah You both got some of the best life, yeah What's on my best life, yeah Something you and me, oh You both what's on my best life
Chelsea hand sanitizer. <laughs>
Somehow you turn around and everything feels upside down. Look back and say to me, I don't know what I've been missing. Oh, the same place, the same things look different somehow. Oh, the fine lines, the deep seas that keep us out. hotel from our stadium and museum tour we got the cfc tour lanyards um i was i wasn't able to record in the mega store like you're not allowed to so i didn't and i got some photos let me show you which one. Oh no i don't like the red in that one look proper souvenir photos and i got some stuff from the mega store as well paper bags very environmentally friendly I got a scarf, as you would, and I got a beanie, and also a keychain. So it's got the letter, and then it's got the Chelsea logo. So that is what I got from the mega store. It was a very nice tour. I really enjoyed it a lot like a prem stadium is just so nice compared to what i'm used to in singapore and it's we had a really nice tour guide i'll probably leave them um five star reviews on tripadvisor and it was just very informative and it's so cool being like pitch side at chelsea stadium the only thing now is i need to try and get tickets to go to a chelsea game because i think that will be a very surreal experience but yeah <laughs>